YouTube, Zookeeper again. So more work on the uh, Prius battery. So I've separated out the uh, six known quote unquote bad batteries. Um, this one's the question mark one. Not sure. So we'll load test it and see. And how am I load testing these? You know, I, this isn't a scientific thing. Um, we did the open circuit test where nothing's connected, just the multimeter. And now I'm going to do a load test. And the load test is simply, I've got two alligator clips. I got each one to power and ground. And then I've just got this little 194 light bulb. Um, that's all it is. Um, and uh, it'll pull just an, a little bit, you know, maybe an amp, amp and a half. Put a load across the battery uh, to simulate. Because in, in the real world, these cars run up and down the road somewhere between 30 and 50 amps usually. Well, there's 25, 28 modules, so if it was 2 amps per module just driving around town, that would be, you know, something on the order of um, 56, what am I trying to say here? Um, if it was 56 amps, it would be 2 amps per module. And so an amp and a half out of this little 194 bulb is probably something that's reasonable. So I got the meter on DC volts. I got the positives on this side, negatives on this side, all lined up so I can just check these. And uh, you'll see when I put these under load, this light bulb lights up. And what a disaster this is turning out to be. Anyway, um, I'll just set that guy up there. And uh, we'll put these guys under a load and see what happens. I got 7 volts on that one. Six. Yep, that one's completely dead. Oh wow, that one's okay. All right, so we'll take this one out to the side. Wonder why that one measured low before. Well, that's okay. I, I, I have been known to mark the wrong one. Yep, that one's no good. That one's no good. And. Yep, that one's bad. Okay, so now we're going to start the other end, and I'll just let you guys look at the voltages, and I'll just run right down the line here. And get these, try to get these wires out of the way. Um, it's over 7.5, that's good. I'm looking for something over 7.2 for sure. Yep, that's good. I'm just doing this for a few seconds, you know, maybe five seconds, just to make sure that they'll hold up, carry a load for some period of time. Yeah, it's sort of like your gas tank, right? You put gas in it, it runs out on the ground, it won't carry a load. All right, stays. It's borderline, but it's okay. These batteries have been badly abused in the last six weeks, so, um, uh, you know, if they're anywhere close to being reasonably good. Um, we'll try to, we're not going to sell them as new, we're reconditioned. Um, but we're going to put them on the market and let somebody, hopefully they can help somebody else get their car back on the road after this pandemic. Not going to try to gouge people. Normally these things go for around 40 bucks a piece. I think my daughter would be happy to get, oh that one's, yeah that one's fine, eight. I was thinking six, no that's eight. And again, about five seconds. Just make sure they stay over seven and a half volts. And they're all doing really well, except for that one that was a little bit questionable. Um, but again, these have been badly abused. And most of these are doing really well. So this th these are 15 year old cells, folks. 15 years old. And look at, they're still holding their voltages very, very, very well. I mean, that tells you the quality that Toyota built into these modules. I mean, they did a really good job. No, oh, yep, that questionable one is no good. Okay, so we'll take this one as questionable. That was the last one we did there. And that one is definitely no bueno. This one I thought was bad before, 
maybe isn't so let me retest it and make sure that I did everything right 795 yeah okay I must have must have just not been paying attention okay well I'll take these six and those are cores and um, that's how to load test a Prius battery folks we're just testing one module at a time and you can do this in the car um, and it doesn't matter which way around these wires go uh, the only difference and I can show you here is if I turn this one around so the negatives on this side the meter will read backwards but it, you get the exact same results it just reads negative 0.7 volts that just means the positive and negative of your meter are on the wrong terminals it doesn't mean the batteries backwards as long as um, you, you pay attention and it is true that the red is on negative and black is on positive the meter reads backwards that's exactly what you would expect okay so you can go right down your battery and check them 194 bulb with a little bulb, bulb holder but you don't actually need the bulb holder um, these have little ears and you can just take an alligator crocodile clip and just clip it right onto the bulb like that without the holder and I'll just show you if that works just as well if you get them on correctly if you get them on the wrong way they don't make good contact and then they don't work or you get two different batteries well, really you're going to make a liar out of me? You stupid thing. There. Okay, that's how you do it. And there's the measurement. Over just about 8 volts. Okay, and again, you're only doing this for a few seconds. YouTube, that's measuring your Prius battery under a small load. Zookeeper out.